I want to bring in Dr. Aditi Nurekar now. She is a physician at Harvard Medical School. And Dr. Nurekar, I want to talk a little bit more about this uh, vaccine passport thing. And I want to get your perspective as a medical professional. When you look at some of these settings where you're going to have mass gatherings, we're talking about cruise ships and concerts that are indoors, for example. What's your take on the need for checking vaccination status in these elective spaces, in places where people choose to go uh, and not necessarily places where they have to go? So that's a very timely question, Aaron. You know, cruise ships by design violate a basic tenet of COVID safety. Mm. There are large groups, stagnant groups within small, confined, often poorly ventilated spaces deep in the ship. So this is a big issue, and this is why it's very important for anyone on the cruise to be vaccinated. So the CDC says about 41 percent of the the total U.S. population is fully vaccinated right now. Uh, Other than these vaccine incentives that we've heard so much about uh, here lately, what steps do you think the U.S. should be taking to try to ensure that more Americans get the shots that that uh, medical professionals believe we need? You know, I think we're moving in a really good direction. We have a 62 percent vaccination rate. We're aiming for 70 percent by July 4th. I think we will get there. Twelve states have a 70 percent vaccination rate. And, you know, by and large, a large proportion of people who are vaccine hesitant are often on the fence or in a wait and see mode. There's a very small percentage, 13 percent, who are equivocally no. So vaccine incentives could really make the difference to get to our goal. All right, Dr. Aditi Nurekar, we appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron.